皆さんこんにちは米国時間の20日に SEC との訴訟関連の重要な日を迎えるので XRP の価格が動くかもしれないという動画を出しましたビットコインの影響を受けて動くことも考慮しましょうとも言っていました一時的に上昇しましたが偶然か必然か悪い方向にリップル XRP の価格が動き出しましたビットコインの価格パフォーマンスと比較してみたらどうやらビットコインの下落が先に始まって XRP もそれにつれやすしたように見えますその後の下落するスピードはいつもの XRP に戻っていますおいおいやはり訴訟関連の進展がなかったことでパフォーマンスが良くないようです土壇場でドラマが発生しなかったようですどうやら次の最終救出案の提出期限の4月29日まで大きな進展はなさそうです記事では長く続いた訴訟の決心は4月の見通しだと書かれていますビックル XRP の生産ヒートマップを確認すると最近のビットコインのボラティリティの影響を受けて XRP の生産が上下ともに発生したようで現在の価格帯では真空状態が発生しています1時間足のチャートで確認すると青色の水平ラインが生産ヒートマップのネックラインとなっていますこの青色の 0.57 ドルから 0.54 ドルの間が当面の注目価格帯ということになりますどのアルトコインにも当てはまることになりますが XRP もビットコインの影響を受けますということでビットコインのこれからの動向を見て XRP の価格を予測してみましょうアナリストのアリ氏によるとビットコインの半減期からの先の価格動向では過去3回ともに半減期の後に大きく価格が上昇していることが見て取れますもちろん今回もそうなるとは限りませんがビットコインの半減期の恩恵を XRP も受けるかもしれません今はそれを期待する方が SEC との和解よりも上昇する確率が高いかもしれませんおいおいブルームバーブとの最近のインタビューでリップルの最高経営責任者ブラッドガーリングハウス氏が XRP 上場投資信託 ETF の可能性について話していたので紹介します。Well, you mentioned the grayscale case, Brad, and it's Kaylee in Washington.、Uh, obviously, that was pretty instrumental in ultimately the SEC granting approval to not just grayscale conversion、uh, to a spot ETF, GBTC, that is, but spot Bitcoin ETFs more broadly. I'm sure you've seen there's buzz out there about potentially an XRP ETF being in the future. What do you make of that speculation? Well, Kaylee, good to see you. I, I think it only makes sense there will be other ETFs. Uh, to, it's a little like you know, the earliest days of the stock market. You don't really want exposure to one stock or one company. You want to typically think about diversifying risk and what have you. And so I think we will see other ETFs. When we will see them is hard to predict. You know, the, the, the sad reality of what we saw with the Bitcoin ETF is it was only because the courts forced the SEC ha SEC's hand and really Chair Gensler's hand that we saw that finally come to fruition. And look, in my opinion, it makes these markets safer, it makes them more robust. And so this is good for the investment community、uh, to kind of lean into that. So you would welcome an XRP ETF then? We would certainly welcome it, and I think it's inevitable that there'll be you know, multiple ETFs around different、uh, tokens. I think you'll even see ETFs potentially around baskets that also, I think, further diversify that risk.、Uh, given there's so much excitement around the ETF dynamic here, are you in talks with the largest issuers, particularly BlackRock, to get this done? Well,、uh, I'm not going to comment on that. I know BlackRock has said some things publicly.、Uh, you know, we think it makes sense for the XRP community overall. Uh, you know, Ripple obviously is a very important stakeholder in the XRP ecosystem, but we're not the only player. And look, we, we've seen, I mean, before the SEC lawsuit, XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. I think because of the headwinds of that lawsuit, you know, we've now seen that largely abate.、Uh, but the long term view on these things is about, you know, how do you create utility and really solve real world problems with these different digital assets? Bitcoin's doing that very well as a store of value. XRP and its dynamics around being very Very fast, very efficient, and low cost on a per transaction basis makes it ideal for payments. And that's where Ripple really has leaned into as a company. Well, let's talk about where else Ripple is leaning in. You've recently acquired Standard Custody. What does that 
going to do for の CEO であるブラッド・ガーリングハウス氏はスポットベースの XRPETF のアイデアを歓迎すると明らかにし投資商品の発売は避けられないだろうと述べたようです次にビップル派弁護士のジョン・ディ・トン氏に関するトピックが飛び込んできたので紹介しますビップル派の弁護士ジョン・ディ・トン氏が上院議員に立候補する予定のようです最後にちょっとかっこいいジョン・ディ・トン氏の意思表明と見られる PV をご覧くださいハイランド・パーク・デトロイト I grew up in real poverty in a dangerous violent neighborhood I got beat up but I fought back I learned life's lessons and my motto became no fear and never give up My mom my hero A single mom on welfare and food stamps who worked as many jobs as she could just to put food on the table. Most of the times it was just beans and cornbread, but she did her best. They called me white trash, but I made it out. It wasn't easy. I was the only one in my family to graduate high school. I worked my way through college and New England School of Law, living in Roxbury. I joined the Marines, fought addiction. Cancer and mountains of debt. No fear, and I will never give up. After law school, I got married, became the proud father of three amazing daughters, and built the law practice. I fought for the little guy. I took on the greedy corporations and the heartless insurance companies, and I won. I took on the Washington insiders, and I won. I am running for U.S. Senate to continue my life's mission to shake things up for the people who need it most. Take on the drug and insurance companies for better, more accessible health care. Instead of just pointing the fingers at each other, actually work to solve the migrant crisis. Fight inflation that's crushing working families. Work for better opportunities for children. Take on Washington corruption and the division that's killing this country. We need term limits for these career politicians who have simply forgotten who elected them. Elizabeth Warren, well, she promised to be a champion for those in need. Instead, she gives lectures and plays politics and gets nothing done for Massachusetts. I will work day and night to make a difference in your life. I know your life struggles because I've lived them. I know your dreams and your hopes for you and your family because I share them. I will fight for what is right because I have no fear and I will never give up. Today, リップル XRP に関するいくつかのトピックを紹介してきました少しでも面白かったら高評価チャンネル登録よろしくお願いしますそれでは次回お会いしましょうバイバイ